airport to get a bird's eye view of what Manassas looks like today. The goal of this flight is to get a view of Manassas today and fly over the battlefield and the surrounding areas. The guy next to me is my flight instructor, Mick. He is there to help us identify certain areas around Manassas, as well as help me fly the aircraft. The flight plan for today is very simple. Take off at Manassas and fly towards the battlefield. Along the way, we're going to fly over the vast farmlands around Manassas. Flying also gives you a unique view of the North Virginia area. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. I'll be putting in subtitles for all the times we talk on the radio, and it's quite loud. Words that I say, downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know where this may go. These strangers know all the words at my shows. I tell she loving our styles. Makes a face red whenever I smile. I lay down, takes off her clothes. Wake up, I leave for the door. Tell myself I don't need a drink. I got champagne iced in the sink. They keep calling me for the link Music's there but still I think I need you yeah, yeah. Words that I say East Coast to West As we climb towards 3,000 feet, I'll explain a few things that you guys are going to see. The first thing is a set of railroad tracks. These tracks played a crucial role in the first battle of Manassas, but I'll talk more about that later. Next, we're going to fly by some small rivers and streams around the battlefield. And finally, we will fly to some secluded parts of the battlefield around the, around the main battlefield. Dulles Airport has restricted airspace over the main battlefield, so we can't get too close. So, uh, the railroad that we passed back there, uh, it's been there for a while now, and uh, back in the Civil War, it was used to uh, transport uh, troops uh, by General William Sherman to the first battle of Manassas. Uh, he brought a hundred to hundred of reinforcements to the troops ready station at Manassas, trying to take uh, Henry Hill and fight against the Union. Yeah, <laughs> It was founded in uh, 1873, uh, and that was after the Civil War, because after the Civil War, when the Union and the Confederacy joined back to the Act of America, uh, it, it was Manassas, that was, that Manassas, which it is today, was just a railroad, and it was a road that passed through it. There was a cross joint of those two. And uh, over the years, it's developed more and more people, and it's developed more and more to a city, and now uh, more than 38,000 people call it home. Uh, and it's home to a lot of industrial areas, a lot of farmland. Weekend, left my problems to dry, I'm lounging out in the deep. Here I am maneuvering around the small parts of the battlefield. What you see here is the southeast side of the battlefield park by Route 66. Due to our high angle of bank, around 45 to 65 degrees, you can get a great look at the ground from the air, especially Robbie, as he's always against the window. Fill up a roam and bloom with my arrival. Rolling up, then you pull one out. 5 a.m. when we go to sleep. As I bank back to the left, you can get a good look at a little corner of the battlefield along the eastern side. I hope you guys have enjoyed your bird's eye view tour of Manassas. Let's head back to the airport. Eh, eh, words that I say. Downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know. Where this may go These strangers know all the words at my shows I tell she loving our style Shit makes her face red whenever I smile I lay down, takes off her clothes Wake up, I leave Thanks for flying with me today I hope you guys were able to get better understanding of what my ass looks like today Now, let's get our Interstate 66 and drive to the battlefield to see what the soldiers saw Words that I say. The Civil War is the bloodiest war ever fought on American soil. It was between the Union and the Confederacy. Over 150,000 brothers lost their lives. Confederate forces were advancing from fence ahead. The U.S. artillery cannons began to fire at this unknown line. However, the Confederate infantry were 
were able to advance within 40 paces and overtake these guns. Although the Confederates momentarily won, Union reinforcements were coming from the hill. Lieutenant William P. Mango from the 6th North Carolina was mortally wounded here on July 21st, 1861. General Bernard Elliott B. of South Carolina was killed here July 21st, 1861. Just before his death to rally his scattered troops, he gave the command, Four, four, there stands Jackson like a stone wall, rally behind the Virginians. Here lies Stonewall Jackson Memorial. He was a very important general and played a crucial role in many Civil War battles. Stonewall Jackson is best known for his actions here at the First Battle of Bull Run. Here, Stonewall Jackson earned his nickname by standing in the middle of heat of battle, encouraging his troops to push forward. Here is where Colonel Bartow led his infantry unit on a counterattack to take the Henry Hill House. The Henry Hill House was the strategic point in the First Battle of Manassas. This here is where the Union advanced towards the Henry Hill House from the north. They are trying to get there before the Confederates take a strategic positioning upon the, upon the Confederates to hopefully win the battle. Downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know where this may go. These strangers know all the words that my souls I tell. She loving our style. Makes a face red whenever I smile. I lay down, takes off her clothes. Wake up, I leave for the door. Um, we're better. In order to get a better look, at Manassas, we will be taking a, no, we will be going up in the sky, no. <laughs> Today we are at Manassas Battle, and are you, are you recording this now? Uh, bloopers. bloopers. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Though they momentarily captured these guns, Union reinforcements were coming. Civil War is one of the most bloodiest wars between, no, I'd say it again. <laughs> Saying the Civil oh War, how is it a- Ready, Robbie?